sharpening the sword, taking a teaching moment here. First and foremost, I'm the student. I remember when I was, so I was 14 or maybe 15 years old, and my first martial art teacher, my Kung Fu Sifu, Mike Patterson, uh, he took me to his office and he said that uh, you're fortunate if your avocation is your vocation and that I had an aptitude and that teaching is the way that you can accelerate your studies as a student. And so I always took that to heart and have lived that way, you know, throughout since then. Uh, you yeah, know, that was 1985. So here we are 40 years later and still keeping that to heart. So I just completed uh, a type of training called pentathlon. And I've been in this game a long time with the kettlebells. You know, kettlebells has really grown, especially during the pandemic. And there's a lot of beautiful art out there. There's also a lot of core technique. Uh, so one thing I've always done is I've always kept my eyes on the masters, you know, if I find the masters and uh, watch them and, and learn from them because the technique tells the truth and within the technique is the longevity as well. So I'm 54 and I realized that for the last six years, I hadn't really been lifting a lot of heavy kettlebells. I've been focused so intensely upon jujitsu and that remains my focus. And I've stayed with the kettlebells, but I always have been gravitating towards the lighter kettlebells. And so what, what I really wanna talk about today is as a teacher, uh, for me, it's an honor. I always view it as an honor when someone comes to me and says, hey, will you coach me? And more so when it's a high level athlete. So my good friend and brother, Phil from Poland, I'm gonna tag him here. Uh, he's competing in the world championship for the pentathlon, the IKMF world championship for the pentathlon. That's in November. And um, I think it's in Poland or maybe Hungary. It's in Europe for sure. I can. Uh, get back with the exact location uh, and I'll tag that but um, Phil approached me and Phil's already a high level he's already a master of sport inter international class in in that event in the pentathlon and so he asked me to coach him and I take that seriously you know I take that as an honor not just because it's a high level athlete but for everybody and if you're not a high level athlete and you come to me and you say, will you coach me? I take that as equally, as great of an honor. And it's always an honor when someone wants to uh, learn from your experience. So really the teaching moment of it is when he asked me, I'm like, well, I know the event, but I don't know the event, <laughs> okay? So I've been playing with the pentathlon. I just finished with the pentathlon and Phil did well. Uh, he got third place in the world in 2023. He wants to do more. He wants to do better. And, you know, so as a coach, I have to kill him. But how can I kill him if I haven't killed myself? You see? And so that's, that's really what it's about. So this was my fifth pentathlon. And I'll, I'll start releasing some footage soon. Uh, showing clips of the pentathlon. The entire event actually in competition is 50 minutes from start to finish. Now, another point on the teaching, I'm a big believer in the credit where credit is due. So I'm going to tag him as well, Valerie Fedorenko. If you don't know Valerie Fedorenko and you're, you're with the kettlebell, you need to do your research because Valerie Fedorenko is the OG of the kettlebell sport from the beginning, 1993 world championship. You know, first person I learned from as far as kettlebell sport and real deal, and he has his way of doing things, you know? And so Valerie is the brainchild. Valerie created this event. So you have to give credit and it 
came from Valerie. Uh, he allows IKMF. IKMF shows the respect with the relationship with, with Dogman. And Valerie Federenko gave the permission to the IKMF to run the competition. So if you want to go into the competition, it's IKMF and USA has a branch. A lot of countries around the world have a branch. I will tag IKMF. You can find out where your local club is if you want to get involved with the team training. For me as a coach, I'm putting my student through this. And so I have to put myself through it, you know, at my level. And it's fun, you know, so I love being a student. I love being a coach and I love how those elements come together and inform each other. Uh, word to the wise, those of you that coaches out there, you know, skin in the game. Um, it's good to have a lot of knowledge. It's good to have a lot of ideas, but you have to be able to feel and you have to be able to know the pain and you have to be able to know the sacrifice and know the suffering. Otherwise, if you're asking somebody to do it, there's, there's going to be that lack of credibility. You know what I mean? We're going for it. So uh, this is a team effort. You know, so uh, thank you, Phil, for inspiring me. And for those of you that aren't familiar, I, I love the style of training. Um, it's five events, and it's real easy with kettlebells, especially if you're doing other things, especially if you're teaching a lot like I do, or doing jujitsu or some other activity that takes a lot of your attention. And now the kettlebell, it's a part of, you know, for me, it's a part of my overall. It's not my center. Like a athlete like Dennis Vasily, have a high level kettlebell sport, competitive athlete, okay, that's his sport, right? For me, the kettlebell is uh, a tool, a tool that I'm utilizing. And what I like about the pentathlon is it's working five movements. And so it's very well rounded in terms of you know, you're working everything. You're working your legs, you're working your overhead, you're working your grip. So you're working your cardio. Uh, it's, you know, really great um, because it has, it has all the, all the great lifts within it. So it's clean. Start with clean. Then it's clean and press. The press is no leg drive. So it's a press without a leg drive. That's a strict press or side press, but no leg drive. And then you have jerk, one arm jerk. Then you have half snatch. And then you have push press. There's maximum repetitions that you can do. So for clean, 20 reps a minute. So it's 120 reps over six minutes. Okay, so each lift at six minutes. You can switch hands as many times as you want. You cannot put it down. And then there's a five minute rest between each of the five events. So from start to finish is 50 minutes, okay? And that's 30 minutes of lifting, and that's 20 minutes of rest. And so for clean, 20 reps a minute, that gives you a maximum of 120 reps. Clean and press, 10 reps a minute for a maximum of 60 reps. One arm jerk, 20 a minute for a maximum of 120 reps. Half snatch, 18 reps a minute for a maximum of 108 reps. And finally, push press for a maximum of 20 reps per minute, or 20 reps per minute for a maximum of 120 reps. So you have a maximum of 528 reps. And then you choose the weight that you want to use for each lift. And the heavier the weight, the higher the score is going to be towards your total score. And that's, and the formula is there on IKMF, IKMF website. If you want to learn more about it, you can read about the pentathlon. Uh, I'm just sharing my journey with it. I will give it uh, you know, thumbs up, props to Valeri Fedorenko for creating this, props to IKMF for, for growing it and keeping it alive and props to the athletes that take this because I'm not calling any shots at this moment. My focus is jujitsu, but I will say that I like this activity. I like this and I can see the, you know, like 
covering a lot of bases. I'm enjoying it and I'm going to keep going with it. And I will post some clips from my workout very soon. All right. Thank you.